schedule, but there's some shadows. Running it through graphics enhancement. This is his rat hole, all right. It has to be. I found his overalls next to his locker. Bastard travels light, doesn't he? Keep looking around. He's got to have more than a locker to play with. I'll get back to you once I clean up this image. Speaking. Document is a standard city issue train schedule. Pressure has been applied from a stylus highlighting two scheduled routes, both originating from Central Metro Station. Route 16 to Burnside, departing 510, 7.30, 9.30 a.m. Route 66B leads to Briar. That's a tiny farm town an hour to the northwest. Departs 9.30 a.m. and midnight. This is his hub, so he goes to both locations regularly. I've also determined DNA from the sweat sample in the train matches DNA from the cigarette pot. 99.8% probability. The guy you're following is the guy who killed the two policemen. The matchmaker. At least, I think so. Something's still not adding up.
was the city's contractor for the cars years ago. Yeah, I haven't seen one of these number eight cars in years. Get a close-up of the red circled area. It's hard to see.
girl will do no good. You know we'll find you eventually. Look, I understand. The case law became too much. You weren't solving cases like you used to. You're talented, high strung. You snapped. It happens sometimes. Look, I did not snap. Someone else killed those policemen. I it looks like it might have been the matchmaker. With your gun? That seems unlikely, doesn't it? We have psychiatric staff that can help you sort things out. With all due respect, I don't need that. I mean, no. What do you want from me, Malcolm? What's going on? Going on? You are being investigated by the FBI for the murder of two police officers. That's what's going on. You will be tested, Thomas. Of that you can be sure. I must go. Thank you. 
right index finger. This matches what we got from the crime scene. I processed all the prints. And Thomas, the print you got from the tape recorder at the metro station isn't on this hand. I, I don't get it. What, what does that mean? I'm not sure. I'm just saying that the print from the tape recorder wasn't made by the same hand.
cross-referencing. The footprint is an exact match to the print I found in the metro station car. It may be the matchmaker, but I'm still concerned about that rogue fingerprint from the tape recorder. Keep following the trail. It may lead to answers. Maybe even a body. I would if I could, but this part of the department store is flooded. His trail ends here. It might be a long shot, but try using your gas spectrometer. Dead bodies start decaying immediately, producing hydrogen sulfide and traces of methane. If there's a body, you should be able to sniff it out. The air sample contains usual city pollutants and high concentrations of mold spores, and here we go. Methane. It's relatively weak, but definitely there. This guy's the matchmaker. Well, he certainly didn't kill himself and set it up this way. See what else you can find. Damn. No usable DNA traces. Killer must have worn gloves. But there is something. What is it? Too early to call. Small particles that show up as a potential organophosphate pesticide. I'll work more on that and see what we get. Dawson, I could use some help here. Shit, I can't hold you off much longer. Dawson, you still with me? I think I've got 
forgot something, Thomas. The newspaper clippings you found in the room at the metro station? Each of the articles talks about a serial killer. A serial killer that was on your case list. Nine names were mentioned. Of those, seven of the nine were crossed out in each of the clippings by a black felt tip marker. The only names that weren't crossed out were the matchmaker and the torturer. Of the names that were crossed out, all those cases have gone cold. And now you can cross off the matchmaker. Wait, are you implying that there's someone stalking serial killers? So what, he goes around killing killers and then he marks off their name in his little personal diary? It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It does, but it adds up. It almost makes sense. Hold on. Ah, shit. Rosa, I have to call you back. Yeah. You were going to call me back. Sorry. So, the fingerprint in the metro station and the boot print are not the matchmakers, but this other guy. So, is he the torturer? Doubtful. It's not the torturer's M.O. Think about it. The final murder in each of those cases on your list ended with a killing similar to the previous ones. This guy goes around and kills the killers in the same way that they're killing the innocent. He's like an Uber killer, a serial killer X, a perp not on your original case list. So this serial killer X kills serial killers. He takes them down using their own methods. If the torturer is still at large, what's his MO? Pretty sick stuff. He likes to abduct people, torture them for fun, then let them loose and hunt them down. His goal is to drive them to suicide so he doesn't actually deliver the final blow. What is this city coming to? All right, so I've got to find the torturer and save his ass so the new killer doesn't kill him? Life of an agent. Yeah, well, I'm no longer an agent, apparently. Sorry. Look, I can't get you the Bureau dossier of the torturer now, as you can imagine. But we can find out some public information. And I have something else you need to see. Okay. Well, it's too dangerous for me to come to the Bureau. Can you meet me at the City Library? You know there's been a fire there. The whole thing's shut down for repairs. Exactly. There's damage, but there's got to be a terminal or two still working. And no one will know. Uh, can you meet me there in uh, 15 minutes? <laughs> 